hey there, we are going to define leadership according to Johnson and Hackman's book on leadership, a communication perspective. I will put that a link to that book in the description below this video. And we're going to look at commonalities between all the different definitions there are. In fact, we're going to start with the four common themes that all the different definitions of leadership have. So let's get into that. So James McGregor Burns, back in the day, gathered 221 different definitions of leadership, and he found that there were four primary definitional themes that emerged that cut across all of these different definitions. And that overall perspective of those four points will give us an idea of a good definition of leadership, and then we'll finish by defining it according to the book. So the first theme is that leadership is about who you are, who the leader is. So the leader has traits, has a personality, and has a character, and that is unique to the specific leader we're talking about. And that's one of the reasons why for some leaders, you are just more willing to follow them as individuals because of what they stand for, who they are, compared to following other leaders. They might be equally good leaders, but there's something about who they are, that specific leader that attracts followers to them. Number two, leadership is about how you act, the exercise of power and influence. And I think this goes a little bit to the leadership philosophy of the individual leader. Like, how do they put that power and influence into practice? How does that come across? How do they do their job when they're leading? Number three, leadership's about what you do. So leaders are engaged in all kinds of activities that mobilize followers and encourage change to reach the goals of the group. And that is really one of the things that makes them leaders. They are acting as leaders to get followers moving towards some goal. So you could take the same person, the same personality, but if they're not doing the activities of the leader, then they're not really acting as a leader. So it's about what you do. And number four, leadership is about how you work with others. This is ideally working jointly as partners with the people around you to reach those goals through collaborative efforts. Now, granted, this one might sound a little more ideal because not all leaders do this, but when people say, what's the definition of leadership? That is one of the parts that we hope for, that that when we're working with others, that that leader is working jointly as partners and working collaboratively. Now, in terms of the definition and the textbook overall, this is a communication-based definition that Johnson and Hackman give because that's the field that they come from, communication. They say that leadership is a human or symbolic communication that modifies the attitudes and behaviors of others in order to meet shared group goals and needs. So leaders are communicating in a way that gets those followers to accomplish the goals of the group. And that is a basic definition, a communication-based definition of leadership, according to Johnson and Hackman. So question of the day, what do you find most interesting about this way of looking at leadership? What are the four components do you think are the most crucial to you in terms of the kinds of leaders that you would like to follow? I would love to hear your comments in that section below the video. So thanks, and I will see you soon.